the mind is what we're really trying to conquer and we're trying to go within. Why, why is it that you have this ability that all these other healers that I've worked with don't seem to have? Like you said the trust was associated with the root chakra. I know a lot of people right now that have lost trust in the government, lost trust in their medical doctors, lost a lot of trust in, in our trust has been turned upside down. You are not the mind, but the mind is in you. And you are not the universe, but the universe is in you. I mean, bottom line, you, you want to have someone working on you that can bring you up, not somebody that's on the same vibrational level with you or a lower vibrational level than you. You want to have somebody that's going to be able to bring you to teach you how to go to another, a higher vibrational state. That's just, it amazes me sometimes when I'm at these big healing conferences and all these healers and they're just, they're overweight, they're sick, they don't, they, you know, they're in a low vibrational state. And it's like, how are you, how do you plan on healing somebody or teaching them how to heal if you don't even know how to heal yourself? If you're, if you're already in a low vibrational state. So you are absolutely correct, Dr. Group. I cannot agree with you more than that you have to practice what you preach. So if you are going to provide vibrational healing, energetic healing to client, you have to be a role model for them. If he, I am sick, either physically, mentally, and or emotionally, there is no way I could provide any healing to my client. So how would you, so, so the way that, the way that, um, the way that we teach to raise your vibrational frequency is many, many different, different things through detoxifying the gut and then healing, detoxifying the liver, getting all of the, the things that are lowering your vibrational frequencies out of your body, meditation, what are some of the techniques that you can advise people to do that they can raise their vibrational frequencies? Or is there a way they can do chakra balancing on themselves? And, and, and how would they practice intuitive healing or energetic healing? So Dr. Group, there are definitely several ways and methods for the person to raise their healing vibrations. As you have always mentioned, it starts with education. Therefore, edu education is an absolute necessity. You have to also be mindful and conscious of yourself. Self with a capital S. It's absolutely important. Wait, wait, wait. Explain how someone becomes conscious and mindful with themselves. So a person can become mindful and conscious of their self by practicing meditation. Because after all, Dr. Group, you are not the body. The body is in you. You are not the mind, but the mind is in you. And you are not the universe, but the universe is in you. Yourself with a capital S is a very important topic in the field of holistic practice as well as vibrational healing. You have to find out who you truly are. What is your divine essence? Who, who you are you? Am I Tariq Halabi, the body, the mind, the emotions, or is it more than that? So the person has to learn the chakra system of the human body what are the seven basic chakras found in the human body? What are the physical, mental, and or emotional aspects that are associated with each and every chakra? And it is doable. It is possible that they could go ahead and do a chakra balancing session on themselves. And then they will be able to become more and more mindful and conscious of their selves. So can you go into 
you've been practicing this a long time. Can you go into some of the things that you've seen in the past when it comes to go into a little bit more detail on chakra balancing? Um, go over the different types of chakras. And then I, I'm just curious as to, like, I, I know that I've noticed over the last couple of years, because our phone always rings off the hook when, when there's any type of crisis going on, that it, with the addition of 5G, especially, and all the electromagnetic frequencies that people are being exposed to, and all of the COVID situations that have been happening, like almost every single person that's been calling our office over the last year and a half, they do have physical situations going on with them, but they've been on an emotional roller coaster ride. It's been stress, anxiety, depression, family breakups, marriage breakups. I mean, it's, it's almost like a hurricane has been going on in people's lives. Is that associated with certain chakras or what have you been seeing in relation to what's been going on the, in the world with chakras? Dr. Group, chakra is a Sanskrit word originating from ancient India. It means simply a wheel. So therefore, chakras are distinct energy centers. They regulate all parts of the human organism. They influence everything from emotional processing to resistance to disease. There are seven basic chakras in the human body, and each chakra has a distinct and different function. There is the root chakra, which is responsible for basic trust in life, as well as that, uh, the um, basic instinct of the human being, which is food. Second chakra- well, is Let me stop you on that. Sorry to interrupt, but you said that trust was associated with the root chakra. I know a lot of people right now that have lost trust in the government, lost trust in their medical doctors, lost a lot of trust in, our trust has been turned upside down. I mean, you know, you can't trust what the media says anymore. You know, it just it, people are being divided. It's either like you believe this side or you believe this side. So, how is that affecting everybody's? If if the root chakra is associated with trust, how is that affecting everybody right now? Is that affecting their reproductive system? Is that you know what what are you what are you and even what are you seeing in some of your clients? My personal experience, Dr. Group, with many of my clients who sign up for chakra balancing sessions, if they have a problem trusting uh, friends, trusting family members, trusting the government, or even trusting their inner voice, they have an energy blockage or a misalignment in the root chakra, which is the first chakra found on the base of the spine. Now, the second chakra, doctor group, which is called sacral chakra, that chakra regulates the reproductive system in men and women, and it is responsible for sexuality and creativity. So if a person, for example, has a problem pertaining to, um, let's say, uh, uh, creativity, innovation, or on the other hand, it could be some um, reproductive system malfunction, dysfunction, or disorder. That means, Dr. Group, that there is a significant energy blockage in their sacral chakra, that is the second chakra. Then we have the third chakra called solar plexus chakra. Now, this chakra is responsible for wisdom, and power. Then the fourth chakra is called the heart chakra, and this heart chakra is responsible for love as well as for healing. Then we have the fifth chakra is the throat chakra, and it is responsible for communication. It could be the communication between yourself, you and yourself. It could be the communication with you and family members, communication with you and friends. So many of my clients 
are more or less very isolated, alienated, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Their communication with their friends and loved ones have significantly been reduced. So therefore, we will go ahead on that session and focus on reducing the energy blockage as well as aligning and supercharging the throat chakra to enhance and promote communication. The sixth chakra, Dr. Gloop, is located here, right there, the third eye chakra. It is actually in the pineal gland, pineal gland. And I know that the pineal gland, as you may know, is probably the most important part of the human organism. This pineal gland is so important and this is where the third eye chakra is located. And this chakra is responsible for awareness, spiritual awareness. And then finally, we have the seventh chakra located on the crown right here. We call it the crown chakra or the Sahasrara chakra in Sanskrit. And this chakra is responsible for intuition and spirituality. So if a person has any disorder, let's say physical, mental, and or emotional, it could be very much associated with some energy blockage, negative emotions, or unfavorable impressions located in one or more of the seven basic chakras. 